guys. Welcome back to my channel. It's Monday and we're making gnomes. And remember, if you like budget-friendly home decor, be sure and follow me on Thursdays as well. But today, we are going to make this super cute, adorable little witch gnome on a broomstick. If you want to how to make her, stick around. i show you how. Thanks for watching. Love you guys. Okay, for this one, you're going to use some craft foam. You're going to go ahead and cut out the pattern and go ahead and overlap till you don't see that little corner anymore. And go ahead and glue that spot down. And then we're going to go ahead and curve up all the way up to the top and glue the top. Now, I'm giving you the link for the, all the supplies in the description below as well as the pattern. Okay, go ahead and get that all the way glued all the way till the tip. And then glue the tip as well. And then I'm putting a little styrofoam cone inside of this. And I got those at Hobby Lobby, the little, the little Christmas tree cones. And if you can't find one of those, you can just cut a bigger cone short. Just going to go ahead and glue the back. And then we're going to take our circle and put it right over the top. Then we're just going to pull it back just a little bit, just so we can put a bead of glue all the way around the edge. And then we're going to pull the hat back down over the top of it. But don't worry so much if you get glue on there where you can see it, because we're going to spray paint it with matte black paint. Next, we're going to go ahead and cut the hair, and we're going to cut five one inch by one and three quarter inch strips. Just go ahead and measure there and there, and then do a line so that you're straight. And then we're just going to cut those kind of in a U shape, like we do our beard, all the way around, cutting the backing only. This will make her hair lay really nice on, onto the gnome. Then go ahead and clean all the excess fur off. Okay, next we're just going to start attaching it. We're just going to start on the side, kind of closer to the, the um, front side, and then we're going to go all the way around. And if you if you're not if you're concerned about getting it straight, you could start in the back and the center with the with one of them, and then just kind of come around to the sides. And then go ahead and get them glued all the way down. Once you get those glued in, you're going to go ahead and go back in and glue all the way down on the bottom. Okay, next we're just going to cut a one and three quarter by a half inch strip, and that's going to be for her bangs. And then again, just cut behind the faux fur only, and then clean the excess fur off. And then we're just going to kind of move the bangs to the side, kind of give her a side bang, and then just glue that on the front. Then I'm just using a little 10 millimeter half bead for her nose, and I'm just going to glue it right up there where that split is. Okay, next we're going to go ahead and make the um, arms and the shoes. We're going to cut four three-inch strips of wire. And we're using uh, Sculpey black clay, just rolling it up into a ball, about probably about a half-inch ball. Just smash it down and just going to pull the front to a tip. Kind of giving her pointy shoes. Then go ahead and stick your wire in there and kind of wallow it open a little bit because we're going to put some glue in there and we're going to use the um, oven bake glue from Sculpey. Just put some glue in there and then we'll put our stick back in there and then we're going to do a little um, bead of like a snake size bead to wrap around the top part there. Just make sure you get any excess glue off of there. Just roll it like in a little snake. And then we're just going to wrap it around the very top. We're going to do the hands. We're just rolling them in a pea-sized piece of clay. And we're pushing the flat part down on the front. And then on the side, we're squeezing it in. Then we're just going to cut four little fingers in there. And to get these shaped out, you're just going to roll them between your fingers until they get to how you want them to look. Just play with this for a little bit. You can get it pretty easy. And then one of them is going to be the thumb. We're just going to push it over to the side. And once you get them how you want them, go ahead and bend them over because we are going to have her holding her broom. And then just put your wire in it and then squeeze the bottom on down. And then do the same thing for the other one. And then we're going to bake these in the oven with the shoes at 275 degrees for 15 minutes. And then when you get them out, just if, pull on that stick. If that stick comes out, just use some glue and glue it back in.
and make sure your thumbs are on opposite sides. Next, we're just going to get some netting that's six inches wide and we're going to cut it at 18 inches and we're just going to twist them opposite ways to get it tightened up in there and we're just going to tie a bow around the top of her hat. And then just cut any excess off and then we're going to open the bows up a little bit just to kind of feather them out a little bit. Then we're going to glue it in and be careful on this part not to get any glue on the front part of it just kind of get pull it away from the hat and glue it on then we're just going to take a little pumpkin that I got at Hobby Lobby and attach it to the top okay next we're going to take these little witch legs that I got at uh, Dollar Tree and you can use any fabric you want just cut it at two inches long by two and a half inches wide and we're going to hem up the bottom part and then we're going to hem up one side part And then we're going to fold them over in, in thirds till we get to the opposite side. And just glue the side down. Okay, next we're just going to attach them to our um, shoes. Just pull it up over the part that had the little snake part and go ahead and glue it down. So you want those to be flush with the top part of the shoe. Okay, next we're just going to take a ribbon and we're just going to tie it around the bottom part of the leg and tie it in a bow. Then we're going to glue the top part to the wire. And then we're going to go ahead and stick it right into the front of the styrofoam towards the bottom. And we're going to cover up the bottom here in a little bit with another piece of um, craft foam. Once you get them exactly where you want them, then we're going to go ahead and pull them back out and glue them in. Just put a little bit of glue up underneath there and push that back in there. Okay, next we're going to make the arms. We're going to take that same fabric. We're taking a two and a half by three inches and we're folding it over facing sides together and gluing them together. And just make sure your stripes are going up and down. Then we're going to go ahead and fold over the edge and we're going to glue up a hem for it. Probably about a quarter inch hem. And don't put too much. Just kind of spot glue it because this fabric is a little bit thin. You don't want to get any glue on the outside edge. And you can use any kind of fabric you want on this. I just had those and so that's what I used. Okay, then go ahead and turn them right side out. And then we're going to go ahead and put our hands in them. And then go ahead and take a ribbon and tie it around the bottom just like we did the leg. Just make sure that your seam is in the back. And make sure that you have a right and the left hand. Just want to put a little bit of glue in the back part of the hand. And then again, tie a ribbon around this one as well. And then just put a little bit of glue around underneath the front part of that ribbon to hold it on. Next, we're going to open up the side of her hair. You want to make sure that you get all the hair out of the way. And then we're just going to take a knife and cut into it. Now, make sure your knife is going up and down. If it's side to side, you will cut her hair. We're going to put the arm on in there, figure out exactly how long we want it. And then we're going to feel on the wire where we're going to pull our, pull our shirt um, arm down to. So I'm measuring it. I'm coming down one inch and I'm going to mark it with a marker. So I know exactly where to glue off the top part of my arm. And just make sure that they match. And then we're just going to turn it under and glue it to, it to that line. Now 
You're just making her, her arm, I mean her hand, come over the edge of her um, shirt probably about a half an inch. Or her dress. And then go ahead and make sure you got your cut open in there. I lost my part, my spot, so I had to go back in here and recut it. And then go ahead and put some glue in there and glue that arm in there. Just make sure that your thumbs are facing forward. And do the same thing with the other side. Okay, now I'm taking this little broom. I got at Dollar Tree, and I'm just going to remove the bow off of it. And then I'm going to tie a bow on it. Now I'm going to just cut this off a little bit short. You can cut it however long you want it. But I just want it a little bit shorter for her. So I'm cutting off about two inches off of this broom. And then go ahead and tie another ribbon around it because it looks a little bit better than the one that was on it. And if you don't want to put a broom on it, you can pull her legs, bend her legs down, and she can sit on a shelf as well. Then I'm going to go ahead and attach the little um, circle to the bottom just to kind of close all that in. And then I'm going to bend her arms back to where her hands can hold on to that broom. And then I'm just going to add a little bit of glue to her hand and attach it to the broom. Then I'm just kind of taking two little paper brads and I'm just going to stick them right into the front of her dress just to kind of dress it up a little bit. And you can glue these in if you want to. She was a pretty super easy project. If you like these kind of videos, be sure and give me a like. If you want to see future videos, be sure and subscribe. And don't forget to ring that bell if you want to be notified when I have another video upload. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it.